Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So to be completely honest with you, I was not planning on having a video up for you guys this week. I am dealing with a really unexpected and heartbreaking situation to do with my dog Bardot. I have just been a complete mess this entire week. But I woke up this morning and I realized that doing a video might just give me something else to focus my energy on. So I decided to do this video in particular because decluttering is something that always makes me feel better. And it is still the start of the new year. And I think this is the best time of year to go through your things and donate the things that you are no longer using, clear some space in your home, Home and in your life. So today I'm going to be sharing with you 20 different types of items that you probably have in your house that you can go through and do some decluttering. When it comes to decluttering, what I recommend you do is go online, do some searching and find a local organization that will do a donation pickup. Schedule the pickup. That will give you a deadline. It will give you motivation. And by doing this, it will also change your focus. Instead of you having to get rid of things, it's you donating your items that you're not getting use out of to somebody else who can. I'm willing to bet that for most of us out there, clothing is probably at the top of the list of items to declutter. So here are some specific types of clothing items in your closet that you can go through. The first are formal items, maybe clothing items you wore once to a nice event or a party or a wedding and it was expensive or it has sentimental value so you're holding on to it but you really aren't getting much use out of. Next is anything that's uncomfortable or unflattering. And if you're not sure, always put the item on and see how it makes you feel. Do you feel good about yourself? Is it hugging you in the right places and making you feel good? If so, keep it, but if not, that is definitely something you wanna donate. Next are any clothing items in your closet that you haven't worn in over a year. So in a year's time, you've been through all the seasons, all different types of occasions, and if you have not had even one occasion to wear that clothing item, you can feel good about getting rid of it. The next are undergarments. This for me is a huge category I needed to declutter because of going through pregnancy and breastfeeding, things have changed. So a lot of my old bras no longer fit me. I still have a ton of nursing bras that I no longer need. So go through your bras, try them on, see if they still fit, if they're still in good condition. And also for your underwear, are they flattering? Are they comfortable? Do they still fit? Are they coming apart or do they have holes in them? Any loan socks that you don't have a matching pair for, those need to go. And for me personally, what I've done is I only have one type of sock that's it, so all of my socks go together. I never have to worry about matching them. And the last category for clothing items in particular are items that if they were in the store today, you would not repurchase. Because if you wouldn't repurchase it again, it's highly unlikely that you're really gonna wanna wear it again. Next are towels. This is one of those things that for me at least, I'm always getting new towels, but I'm never getting rid of old ones. So what I recommend doing here, instead of getting rid of them, you can upcycle them by cutting them into smaller squares and using those as your cleaning rags. This is what I've done recently and it's great because your old towels can find a new purpose and a new life in your home. Next are manuals and warranties. So go through all the manuals and warranties that you have. They're probably stuffed away in a drawer somewhere. First thing you wanna do is just get rid of the ones for the products and the items that you no longer have. I had some manuals for like a vacuum cleaner that I didn't even have anymore and things that are broken or that I no longer use. So you can talk those and the warranties and manuals that you want to keep put them all in one file folder or in a binder so that if you ever do need to access it you'll have them all in one place next is nail polish I have quite the nail polish collection and half of the colors I never wear and a lot of them are so old that I don't even remember when I got them board games so as much as I love board games the big downside with them is they take up so much space most of them come in big, bulky boxes. When it really comes down to it, there's really only a small handful that we actually play. So it was time that I went through and declutter those. Next are used notebooks. I cannot tell you how many blank notebooks I have, and a lot of them are totally full and I'm still hanging on to them. So I am going to go through a lot of these and recycle them. Now moving on to the kitchen, I want to start with condiments. We have way more condiments than we use regularly. A lot of them are old and expired or there's barely any left. So I knew it was definitely time to let those go. Next up in the kitchen are glasses and mugs. I went through and counted. We had over 40 glasses, which is kind of ridiculous considering the fact that we never have more than 10 people over. Also for our mugs, that was getting a little out of control as well. So it was definitely time that I went through and decluttered these. 
If you are a mom, you will know that you always can go through and declutter toys. What I like to do is I go through a lot of his toys and I don't actually get rid of them or donate them. I will just store them away in the garage and then a couple months later, bring them back out and they're like brand new toys that he hasn't seen before. So I will do that and rotate his toys so that it's freeing up space and also giving those toys a new life. For your makeup items to get really specific, I personally find that lipsticks are the one category of makeup product that most of us have way too many of, especially those bold or unique shades that we're not really wearing that often. Next are random cords and cables. I think most of us out there probably have that one drawer full of tangled cables. You don't even know what they go to, but you're convinced one day you might really need it. But for me at least, I don't think I've ever gone into that drawer and used one of those cables. It's taking up a lot of space. They're all tangled up. So at the very minimum, go through your cords and cables and get rid of any duplicates or cables that you don't even know what they go to. Old magazines. I used to hold on to these for so long because I thought I would use them in a vision board or for some kind of arts and crafts project, but I really don't. I do my vision boarding digitally now, and even if I did, I could very easily go to the store and buy a few new magazines if I need them. Next are pens. If you go through all of the pens that you have, you'll probably be shocked by how many of them aren't even working or dried out and you really don't need to hold on to. Dry cleaning hangers. This is one that I had to mention because Ryan gets his dry cleaning done every week for his work clothes. I'm always finding them in the most random places. I'm stepping on them and they're just a pain. So I'm going through the entire house and getting rid of them. If any of you guys have any ideas for how I could repurpose these, let me know. I tried thinking about it, but I couldn't come up with anything good. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully this gave you quite a lot of ideas of types of items you can go through in your house to declutter. And again, I'm going to leave the full list down in the description box and I'm giving you guys at home watching the challenge to go through these today and declutter them. I'm telling you decluttering is not just good for your space and making it look better. It's good for your mind too. When you clear your space, you can help clear your mind and feel better. So with all that said, thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.